The following production was carefully put together by each student guided by the university's COVID-19 protocols, as well as checking into their daily lumicide. Thank you for watching. Okay, we're BVP and we're te taste testing hot chocolate today. I'm Megan, general manager, and this is Madison, a friend. I'm Mia <laughs> Rivera, um, and I'm a biology major. And I work at BOM, I'm the treasurer for BOM. Hi, I'm Amber, I am a kinesiology major and a Hawaiian studies minor, and I'm just here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matthew, um, I'm a marine science major, and I'm here to drink some hot chocolate. Hi, I'm Kara, I am also a marine science major, and also I'm here to drink hot chocolate. And we're best friends! Okay, this is... Ghirardelli hot cocoa mix with semi-sweet chocolate chips mixed with water or milk. There's a deal you Shh, stop, stop. Oh, like that? <laughs> I also don't like chocolate. <laughs> I am the opposite. I love chocolate. How much do I pour in in order for it to actually taste like chocolate? I really want that one packet. Oh. No, I don't want it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> I don't want it to she taste like... She got all like... excited. I don't want it to taste like water. Yeah, like, it looks like yeast. <laughs> like baking yeast. I give it a 7.23 because... I give it a 7.23. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Or that mixture into one of the cups and then keep reducing that cup. This one that we already poured in you? Yeah. That's going to muddle all of the mixes and then it's, our data is not going to be correct and our error bars are going to be huge, Megan. I'm sorry. We need to stop talking. <laughs> if you want to, you can rinse it out at the water fountain. <laughs> okay. The next one is... I think this is the Lucky Charms flavored hot chocolate by Swiss Miss. Oh, it is? I smell no Lucky Charms. It smells like a turtle. I'm not gonna that lie. That mailbox says Billy. Do any of these end up all tasting the same? Oh, this one's not that. I gave it a 4.751. See, I thought it was not as good as the last one. I thought it was, was nasty. I thought it, I did, I did taste the Lucky Charm. I didn't. But that's because... Here's my assessment. Here's my assessment. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Very disappointing. No Lucky Charms. 
It just tasted like sugar and a little bit of chocolate and a lot of sugar and it would have been like average. I would have given it a five, but I think the Lucky Charm made it worse. I think it made it more sugary and that's why I that, that is what hot chocolate is. Next one is Abuelita's hot chocolate. I actually, this is my favorite hot chocolate, but they said it tastes bad. Okay. I'm done with that one. I think there was some user error in this one. I think there was some user error as well. I put in way too much. Yeah, it's like cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yeah. <laughs> I think there's spices in it. It's more than anything. Yeah. yeah. It's got more flavor than the other one. I was a little better. When you make this one, like actual Avalita chocolate, you like use a whole container of, I mean, a gallon of milk, and then you add like a whole bar of chocolate. Yeah, that's, I, that's the Mexican hot chocolate I had, and that's why I tasted that, and I was so disappointed because I was like, Oh yeah, this is like the hot chocolate that I taste. Yeah. yeah. This is that's really good. good. I just need some like bread with it. <laughs> is that not a thing for you guys? No. no? What did you give it? I gave it a 4.2648. Why? So I think it really had a lot of potential. However, under the current circumstances, it is lukewarm water. <laughs> um, I did not put enough in there. So, you know, like that whole thing about how oil and water doesn't mix? Mm -hmm. It was that but hot chocolate. Yeah. So I kind of felt the flavor, the potential flavor of it, along with the water. And they just didn't go together. So, again, user error. User error. I'm sure if the water had been hot and we weren't incompetent at pouring it in, I'm sure there's. Where'd you put it? A you have to put it back size. where it's supposed to go. Oh, it's upside down. We can't read yeah, that. Yeah, don't read that. Can I explain mine now? Okay, so I put a 599631 because um, I think it was better than the other one. It was definitely better than average, but I've had Mexican hot chocolate that was much better than this. And that's what I have to say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. I scored a 9 out of 10 because it would have been better with milk. I would agree. I, I said this bad time, but I think the milk definitely makes it better by like all the flavors. Yeah. Good. I gave it an 8. It was pretty good. Seven forty five. Next we have Nestil Rich Hot Chocolate. Next one is the Nestle one. Nest Nestle. 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 best I've had. It was creamy. No. It was rich. It no. was rich chocolate. It's no, in the, the best so far has been the Ghirardelli. Mm -hmm. I gave it a 4.1 because I didn't want to hurt its feelings. I'm considerate. Okay, now we have regular Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate. Hot Chocolate. Hot Chocolate. This is literally the exact same one as this one. No. Swiss Miss does this weird thing. I don't know if you've noticed where it like separates and it's like one layer is moving and then the top layer is moving and then they look like this and it's trippy. That's not any better. <laughs> I gave it a 6.8. It could have been better. Uh, I give it a 4. <laughs> Reason? Because I added more chocolate and it still didn't taste good. 3 out of 10. 2 out of 10. I don't know why I gave it three. <laughs> it's plain. <laughs> I think I should have given it a one. <laughs> I gave it zero out of ten. I, I think that was the worst thing I've ever tasted. Really? You think it was worse than the Lucky Charms? I honestly think it tasted like drinking a couch. 
Swiss miss? More like, shut up. More like, hit and miss. Starbucks, hot cocoa, double chocolate, decadent bits of real dark chocolate blended with rich cocoa. Oh, that's not it either. <laughs> It's like you're drinking a whole chocolate bar. I've never liked Starbucks on chocolate. <laughs> Put that one there! <laughs> I had really high hopes! That was disgusting! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> They don't deserve elaboration. The peppermint hot cocoa mix target? I good and gather. I also agree peppermint should not go with chocolate. It's definitely the best. Clink. Why did I Eight out of ten. My favorite. Which one did I score the highest? I think I scored the abuelita one yeah. the highest. That one was the best for me. I think the same. I can't remember. <laughs> Very nostalgic. I feel like that one would be a ten out of ten if it had the milk, for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Eight point seventy-five. I give it a nine. It was a little bit better than the abuelita actually, one. And it's actually festive. But I feel like there's better ones out there. Yeah. Next my verse. So yeah. here's the thing. I thought it was above average hot chocolate. The reason why I gave it so many numbers after the decimal point is because, in fact, um, I have a lot of complicated feelings about this hot chocolate because Madison did make it for me one night and it made my soul feel so much better, but now I don't think I like it and that makes me sad. But it was really good that one time I had it and to be fair, she did make it with milk and also this water is no longer lukewarm, it's more like room temperature. So it's like room temperature, peppermint hot chocolate and it's not very good. So I put a little question mark face, because I don't know how I feel about it. I gave it a 2 out of 10 because I thought it was fine. That one's supposed to be Lucky Charms. Oh, it is? I smell no Lucky Charms. This is literally the exact same one as this one. No, what? it's not. Shh! The marshmallows don't mean anything. <laughs> Very disappointing. No Lucky Charms. Everybody quiet. Is it, is it rolling? Yep. Here we go. After, um, you know, cleaning up after our hot chocolate, we were looking at the um, quote unquote Lucky Charms hot chocolate when Megan realized that the marshmallows are separate. <laughs> Why you would put the marshmallows separate in hot chocolate, I don't understand. I don't know, but you know, I'm gonna blame this all on Megan, Megan's fault. Now we're all gonna try the marshmallows. They're weirdly, like, very squishy. They're very squishy. Three, two, one, go. They're very squishy. They're not. That's how, like, marshmallows are, though. Squishy. I don't like it. No, but it's like, you know how Lucky Charms really marshmallows good. are usually crispy? You them? No, I get that. Yeah. Come here, Tamara, man. Like right out of the box. It tastes like Lucky Charms. Yeah. <laughs> no, they are. They are just Lucky Charms marshmallows. But they're, they're not like, crispy. They're like soft. Lucky they're like Charms. soft. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a little strange. All folks. <laughs> Thank but, you. But. Wait, we should all do cut. Ready? Ready? Three. One, three, two, one. <laughs> 